Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. So today I'm going to be giving you guys a recap of my first week of college at home, which is crazy to say that I finished my first week and I'm already counting down the days until May 14th when I'm finished. The interesting thing is that my English class started last week, but my music appreciation class won't start till Monday, January 29th. So I'll have to wait like, a, like at least a week or two um, before that happens, but which is fine because I was able to get introduced to my first class and I won't have to worry about my second class until a later time, which is uh, kind of convenient for me because um, I, I tend to get overwhelmed easily when like a lot of things are presented to me at once. I, you know, I, I, I get overwhelmed. So I had to like, you know, break it down into small pieces. So that kind of helped. Um, on Monday, we didn't have school because of Martin Luther King Day. So Tuesday, January 17th is when everything kind of started. And I liked that the, the professor had everything in a checklist. It was like a link, a wink, one, wink, <laughs> link, week, week, cool. Um, a week one, um, checklist. And the first thing she wanted us to do was read our syllabus. So a lot of things that were on there included like, um, academic integrity, plagiarism, different policies. I learned a new term called netiquette, which is, uh, you know, etiquette, but on the internet. So netiquette, um, you know, so it was, it was interesting. Um, you know, she, she reminded us to be respectful of who we're messaging or emailing, um, uh, because, you know, there is another person on the other side of the screen. And, you know, she said that sarc sarcasm was not tolerated, profanity is not tolerated, you know, different things like that. She talked about how late work is dealt with and, and how if you need an extension on something to let her know about 48 hours before, especially if it's like a test or something. Um, so I read the syllabus and then she wanted us to watch a video, um, which was really cool because I, I, I like hearing people's voices. And so that's how I kind of, that's how I kind of gauge who they are as a person by their, by their voice. Um, and so I, at first I was getting frustrated with, um, finding everything because I've never been on this platform before and it was getting hard and, but hearing her voice kind of calmed me down in the sense of like, okay, she's a human. I'm a human. She's on the other side of a computer and it's okay. It's okay. And it kind of helped when she was actually talking our week through and that's what she's gonna kind of do every week from here on out so i was really excited about that um so after i finished watching the video oh and in the video she said sorry guys i'm not showing my face you're just gonna hear my voice in my mind i'm like that's fine with me and then she had like a slideshow like a presentation slide uh I, I know, maybe it was a google slides or powerpoint one of the two and she had a picture of herself um standing by the eiffel tower in paris um i only knew that because she kind of described it which was cool. And then after that, I did a discussion post. She gave us a prompt to start, uh, um, we had to d kind of talk about who we are, what is something we like to do, and you know, just things like that. I don't remember exactly what I wrote, but um, I, I did the discussion post. So that was my day. And I was like, let me stop here. Cause um, one of my key points that I'm trying to keep in mind is that I want to have a set time where I stop because if I don't, I will spend all night getting frustrated for no reason. So, um, or not for no reason, but just getting frustrated um, when I could, when I need to learn how to like limit myself and stop myself. So on Tuesday, I did really good at that. Um, then Wednesday comes and for the, in the morning, I was really proud of myself because I was able to figure out how to buy my interactive textbook online by myself. And it was a really cool experience for me. Um, but then, you know, the rest of the day kind of went downhill. Um, it was frustrating. Um, so after I buy the textbook on Wednesday, I do the readings that we're supposed to do. We were supposed to read chapter one. And so I read it and then we had like a few quizzes. Um, one quiz was based on our reading and then the syllabus. The other quiz was a grammar quiz, which was like 50 questions. And then there was another quiz. So we had three quizzes to do, I think, that week. And I couldn't find them. I couldn't find any of the quizzes. I could find um, a few of the quizzes, but I could not find the specific quiz I was looking for. I was trying to find the quiz that was based on the chapter that I read in the syllabus. And I couldn't find it. And I was getting really upset. And I, my positive mentality was like going out the window. And I had thoughts of like... Dang, if only I could see the darn screen, things would be easier. And it was just really frustrating. Um, 
but I also understand that every college student is going to have frustrations, whether it's content, whether it's, um, you know, they, they can't figure out how to manage their time, whether it's maybe they're a parent as well. Maybe they have other disabilities. My challenge just so happens to be that I have a visual disability. And um, I, I know that people have worse challenges than me, but it, it is frustrating nonetheless to not be able to see your screen and to really go through um, uh, the platform. We use D2L, Desire to Learn, and you know, and, and, and not knowing where to go to, to find things. It's, it's frustrating. So I eventually asked for help, which was something I wasn't trying to do because I sometimes had the mentality of like, I'm 20 years old, right? I should be able to figure this on my own. But you know, there are some things that I'm going to need help with. And sometimes I'm okay with asking for help, but things like this, I'm like, I should be able to figure this out, you know? Um, so I eventually asked for help and I got help finding the specific quiz I was looking for. I ended up doing the 50 question grammar grammar quiz first. It's like a benchmark. You know, you, you do this one time in the beginning and one time in the end, and they kind of see um, um, if you've improved and stuff. So I did that on Wednesday. And then Thursday, um, two days ago, I did my, my, finally I found my quiz about the reading. And then I, I did this, um, another quiz that I, that came along with my interactive textbook and you have to do an activity. Um, so I, I, I did a, a quiz where it, you rack up points with each question. So each question you get right, you get 60 points, but if you get it wrong, you can, you have a chance to gain back 30 points and you have to get up to 2,500 points. So that took me a while and I, I didn't end up getting a hundred percent. I got like an 82 and I was trying to get to a hundred, but I couldn't, and it was getting really late and I was frustrated. So then I was like, okay, well, I only have one more thing left to do. I had a wrap up survey. Um, because every week she's going to give us a survey to kind of give her feedback on what worked for us, what didn't, so she can kind of make improvements for each semester that goes by. So I was able to do the survey. And in that survey, I kind of gave um, gave her the information like, hey, you know, I think the content was okay. I just had trouble with navigating the, um, the, the, the platform, the D2L, but I know that in time it'll get better. And I said that. And uh, I wonder if she left any feedback. I, I know... Um, that teachers can sometimes leave, uh, leave feedback for you. I don't know where to find it. Maybe I'll go look for it later on if I remember. Um, maybe I'll do it after I record this. Um, but yeah, and then I, I didn't have any work to do yesterday because I did it all. So I have a four-day weekend because our week don't start till Tuesday at 12.01 p.m. So yeah, I had Friday, Saturday, today, uh, tomorrow, and Monday off, So which is pretty cool. Um, I probably will go check my grades to see if she was able to grade anything. But yeah, that's about really all I had to say. Um, I also, if y'all if y'all wouldn't mind commenting, um, would y'all be interested in singing singing uh, vlogs of me doing school on on one of these days? Because I want to be as real as I can. You know, sometimes I'm, I'm I have really good days and sometimes I have really bad and negative days, and I want to share that with you guys. And if y'all would just prefer to listen to me do recaps like this, I can do that. If y'all would prefer to see vlogs, I can do that. Or if y'all want like a mixture of of both. I can do that too. I can I can like alternate because I really want to document this for myself as well. Um, because I want to be able to look back at this and I, I want to be able to feel inspired by my past self. And I kind of hope that other people who see this kind of maybe maybe they won't feel so alone in whatever challenges they're going through. And you know, I think so many of us um, you know, need to speak out about our challenges so that we all don't feel secluded. Um, so yeah, just um please feel free to comment your opinion on that. And thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you listening if you um, stuck to the end. Um, yeah. Love you guys. Bye.